the Shaw Kirby 707, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last part, we defeated Volvagia in the Fire Temple, and we came to Zora's Domain and realized it's completely frozen. And yes, King Zora is also frozen in this red ice. So in this part, we're going to investigate where this is coming from, or yeah, at least the problem of Zora's Domain, you know, being all frozen and all. So. And by the way, if you're playing a 3DS version, and if you're standing still, sometimes Link will actually sneeze. So that's actually a good touch in the 3DS, which I really like. But anyway, this is Zoro's Fountain, the yada yada yada. And yeah, it's completely frozen. And Jabba Jabba's not here, unfortunately. But we want to go this way, because, well, we want to investigate where this, well, ice is coming from. Or snow, rather. And there's actually a hard piece um, around this area, over there in the distance, yeah, right there. So yeah, you gotta kind of time your jump to the dumps. And yes, ice physics, so you gotta <laughs> be careful about ice physics. Alright, there we go. And yeah, there's altar rocks um, around here, so you might want to be careful about them. But here we go, we got... Uh, we made a new heart container, that's for sure, but I don't know what number it is. Alright. Ugh, stupid altar rocks, really. Well, anyways, what you want to do is go to that big hole over there, or that big cave. Because that's where you want to go. Alright, just keep jumping. Nope, fail your jump now. Alright, there we go. And there we go, we made it. So, in this area, this is called the Ice Cavern, which is a mini dungeon. Pretty much a mini dungeon that is right before the actual temple. So, yeah. Alright. I kind of like this area a little bit. I mean, it's alright. I mean, it's not a bad mini dungeon, so yeah. Alright, well, okay. Anyway, we got new enemies here. Ow! These guys are called Freezars. And, yeah, they can freeze you. So there's a lot of ice enemies in this place. Alright. And let's just destroy it. Ow! Don't freeze me, buddy. That's not nice. And there's another one. Oh, there you are. Yeah, they do disappear over time, so... And ow, those stupid spike traps. Seriously? Alright, come on, Freezar, where are you? Okay, there you go, I see one coming up. There we go, haha! -ha. It's... Ah, stupid freeze! Not freeze, um, the spike traps. Alright, anyways, that, that was pretty simple, so let's keep on going, and... Well, we'll find our way through this ice cavern. There's actually something that we gotta get in this place. Because we can't go into the temple unless we get this certain item. And with these blades, you can ow, actually duck underneath them with by, you know, your sh shield. So that's actually really helpful. Alright, there we go. Uh, there should be two more, I believe. Whoa, whoa, that was way too close. I almost... <laughs> that almost chocolate Link off. Link's legs off. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, there should be one more... Ow. Right, there we go, right here. And it's also a ghost skull to us, so I might as well get that to um, add it. It's been a week since I recorded, so I don't even know what number uh, these ghost skull tools are, are at, so yeah. Uh, what door did that open? Um, yeah, yeah, we can't enter that. Well, I guess I'll go through here first. I don't know. Sometimes I get... Well, this way's not that hard to get lost, but I don't know which way is the right way to get something that I need. I guess this is the right way. Sure, why not? Alright, stupid Freezards, go away. I don't know why, but I always spam the spin attack. I always do that. I don't know, it just seems more effective when destroying enemies. Oh yeah, I'm in the right room. Now, what you want to do is have, well, free bottles. Like, no, I do not want to save. Well, what you want to do is actually empty all your bottles because you're going to carry something that's really, really important for... And I need to drink that milk, do I? Yeah, you need to empty all your bottles. Alright. Um, yeah, let's get two more bottles out. Alright, and that one. Alright. Yeah, let's free all the fairies. But later on, I'll get the fairy off screen once we get to the next temple. You know, just in case if I die. Which I highly doubt I would die. I barely die in this game. Maybe once or twice in my life when I play this game, but that was very little. So, other than that, I don't really die as die a lot in this game. So, yeah. Because other games are pretty easy. Well... That was kind of cool. Ice keys. I hate ice keys. I hate ice keys very much. But did you see that? I cut. I didn't freeze when I jump attack those freezers. That was kind of odd. Well, anyway, though, I fell. 
I fell. Stupid ice physics. Well, there's no ice physics when you're on these platforms, so I don't blame the ice physics, I guess. There we go. And I was going to tell us about the suspicious blue fire. It doesn't seem natural. Maybe you can use it for something. Yes, Navi. Yes. If you guys didn't know, blue fire is actually hotter than regular red fire. So, yeah, these blue fires actually get rid of um, the red ice. So, you may want to carry a few of them. So, yeah. Alright, there we go. So, you want to have at least three... No, you stupid ice keys. You want to have at least three um, bottles with you. Because... Like, you're gonna need one of them to unfreeze King Zora. So, yeah, that'll actually be really helpful. And these freezers are so annoying. There's too many of them, really. Alright, we actually want to unfreeze this... Well, this treasure chest. I mean, you don't have to. It contains a dungeon map. But I might as well show off, you know, that it does unfreeze the red ice. So, yeah. So, yeah, we just get the dungeon map of this mini dungeon. Not too bad, actually. But it still doesn't help. I mean, I'd rather have the compass because <laughs> sometimes I do get lost and I don't know which way to go. Alright, um... Alright, here. Okay, also, I thought it was an ice keys because I hate those ice keys. Ice keys are the worst enemies in this game. Well, at least one of them. They're really annoying. Alright, so now that we got our blue fire, we can actually go to other rooms and, well, find more stuff. Oh, and by the way, there's actually another heart piece in this uh, mini dungeon that you can go through. Which is behind a, a red ice. I don't know which way, but it's somewhere. Okay, let's see. Uh, which way should I go? I guess I'm gonna go this way. I think it's this way. If not, then I'll probably go the other way. Because there's actually another blue flame spot that you can get your blue flame at. Alright, this better be the right way. Because I don't want to proceed through and not get the hard piece. Um, this better be the right way. No, it is not. Alright, never mind. Uh, we're gonna go back just a little bit because there's another room that I want to get a heart piece at. Um, if I could find it. There you go, this room. I knew it was this room. I knew it. Alright. Let's get my other blue flame out and let's melt this red ice. So yeah, you cannot melt the red ice with, with regular fire, which I don't think you can get regular fire. You can only get blue flame. So yeah, those are, those are the only flame that can melt the ice. Alright, there we go. See, there's another blue flame spot area, and there's fire, not fire keys, ice keys. Alright, let's actually grab uh, another blue flame here. <laughs> I like how I'm holding the heart up and then the bottle, so it's kind of <laughs> funny. Alright, so yeah, in here there is actually a heart piece, so you may want to stop by here and get a heart piece before you actually leave this ice cavern, which is really important. Alright, come here, there we go. So, we got two harpies in this uh, episode, so that's nice. Alright, let's actually grab another blue flame. And we'll melt that other ice. And I believe that treasure chest inside that red ice contains a uh, compass. Alright, let's get rid of these keys real quick. Okay, that's in my way. Move out of the way. There we go. Alright, so let's melt this. Ooh, I want that arrow. <laughs> I need some arrows. I'm running low. When I started this video, I was actually on 15 arrows. And I'm like, oh, I need more arrows. I can't live without arrows without arrows for my bow. Not doing bad in this part, actually. We're actually getting through this mini dungeon really fast. That's actually pretty neat. Alright, there we go. Okay. Uh, we might need another blue flame, just in case. Alright. Oh, by the way, there's another skull to luck. I forgot there's another gold skull to luck here. And I need to refill another bottle. You know, just in case. Because you might need at least three of them in order to get out of this, um... Dungeon. Where is that? Where are you, buddy? I hear the ghost go to love. Is that on this side? I'm pretty sure. There you are. I have no idea what number this guy is, but I might as well get this ghost go to us. There we go. What number are we on? I'm wondering. We're on number 43. Awesome. So f seven more, and then we'll get the reward that we need. Actually, really want is. 50 so yeah awesome so now that we got the compass and so now we can go to the other door that we need to go to in order to exit out of here well technically you could go to the entrance exit but we actually want to go a little further in this ice cavern because there's actually something really important that we need for the next temple and i went the wrong way i'm going towards the exit 
That's not where I want to go. And I hate how the... Is this stalactite or stalagmite? One of those words, they respawn, you know, once you leave the area. So that kind of sucks that you have to hit them again. Is this the right area? No, this is where I came from. I, I need to pay attention to my map. I, I barely pay attention to the map. All right. Yeah, just dodge those, well, those blades. There we go. This should be the right way. Yeah, this is the right way. Because I recognize that squiggly little line on the map. There we go. So we're in the right area now. All right, there's a couple uh, ice keys. I hate ice keys. They're so annoying. No, you stupid. Ah. Uh, come on, unfreeze. Get over here, you turd. Come on. Thank you. I hate ice keys. I swear, they're... Oh, I hate them with a passion. Okay, there should be another ice kiss around here. And there's actually a ghost gotola. Alright, I'm gonna get that. <laughs> uh, I might want to get that. Don't tell me I can't reach. Really? It's not long enough? Ugh. What the heck? Thank you. Jeez. <laughs> I'm having a hard time getting this ghost gotola. Come on, get it. There we go. Alright, so now this room is actually more silver rupees. You're gonna see a lot more of these silver rupees um, room like later on. Like there's actually be some temples that will recommend you to get some keys. Come on, thank you. Yeah, there's actually gonna be a few areas in the temple where you have to collect silver rupees. So yeah, in order to unlock the door or treasure or whatnot. All right, there we go. All right, I think I might get to the temple in the next part. That really depends. Actually, well I don't know. There is actually a few things I do plan on doing. I know for the young link, because there's actually a couple heart pieces I completely forgot to get. You have to get all the songs in order to get it, but uh, probably doing that maybe in the next part, because I honestly don't want to start the next temple. At least not right now. I don't know. I mean, I would love to start the next temple, but it really depends, because I, I actually like the, like the next temple. I mean, a lot of you might disagree with me, because it is actually one of the hardest temples um, in this game, but. You know, to be honest, I actually kind of like it. I mean, at first I didn't, but once you get used to it, I kind of like it. I like the environment in the the next temple. And I'm kind of spoiling way too much of the next temple, but I'm not really spoiling that much. I mean, I didn't say what it really consists of or what you had to do. Alright, so let's melt this ice. There we go. Alright, there we go. And there should be... Uh, there's another one over there. Um... No, don't fall. Please don't fall. No, oh, I can't really get out of this jam, can I? Well, if you're stuck, just push one this ice block, well, to the abyss. <laughs> yes, kill this ice block, I know. Um, let's see. Do I push it forward or do I push it that way? Um, I believe I push it this way. Let's see. And that may not work. I don't know. Does it work? Okay, never mind. Yeah, it actually does work. Good, I can get that silver rupee up there. Awesome. Yeah, so we're pretty much almost done with this mini dungeon, so it's not too bad. By the way, I think if you play the the song of um the song of time, you can actually summon a time block over here and get those 60 rupees up there, but uh, I'm not gonna go after it. Um I actually wanna can I jump this? I wonder if I can jump this. Jump it! There we go, haha! Alright, so let's grab another blue flame. Because we're actually gonna need it for well the exit. Alright. And let's see. Let's see. Can we push this back? No, that's gonna fall off, isn't it? Yeah, that's gonna fall off. Alright. Okay, I think we actually had to push it forward, I think. Let's see. Do I have to push it forward? Yeah, that should work. No, that's gonna. Wait. Is that gonna work? No, 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 no. Link, 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 link. Stop it. No, stop climbing on the stupid ice block. You have to watch the command on the top screen in order to grab things. Um, is, yeah, that should work, actually. No, stop climbing on the ice block. I hate that sometimes. You have to grab first, then you tilt forward. All right, grab. There we go. All right, there we go. That's the way you do it. So pretty much you just got to move the block forward, then move it to the... This way. I mean, it's not close enough, but... Or it's not in the exact spot, but it's close enough. I mean, as long as you can jump it, you should be pretty good. There we go. Awesome. And, geez, another freeze art. I hate these guys. These guys are really annoying. And, there we go. Die. Oh, okay, there's another one. Get away. Haha. Alright, so yeah, you need to have blue flame in this area. Because, well, it's actually re really recommended. 
And there we go. That unfreezes the red ice. And I need some hearts. There we go. And ooh, I like this area a lot. It looks really pretty. And we got a white wolf. Hole. These guys are really easy. Remember that the weak points are their back. So just wait till the wolf wolf attacks you and then attack you from the back. Yeah, these guys are really easy if you know their weak spot, which is their backs. So yeah. Oh my god, this area is so pretty. I love it. It's so pretty. I mean, it's much more prettier in the 3DS version, but, you know, it's like a plain disco, disco room. I don't know. It reminds it remind me of a disco um, dance club or something, you know, with all the spotlights and all that. But in the 3DS version, it's actually much more prettier because they have more crystals and, well, more details. But I still like it in this version, too. I like both versions of this room. It's actually really pretty. But anyways, we get the iron boots. So heavy, you can't run. So heavy, you can't float. So, yeah. What the? Hey, sheep. Um, you're following me again. We meet again, Scabbin. If you came here to meet the Zoras, you wasted your time. This is all there is. With one exception, the Zoras are now sealed under this thick ice sheet. I managed to rescue the Zora princess from under the ice, but she left to head for the water temple. Yeah, Princess Rudo, she went to the ice, uh, not ice temple, water temple. This ice is created by an evil curse. The monster in the water temple is the source of the curse. Unless you shut off the source, this ice will never melt. If you have courage enough to confront the danger and save the Zoras, I will teach you the melody that leads to the temple. Time passes, people move, like a river's flow, it never ends. That's actually my favorite line in this game. It's actually really, uh, really quoted quite well. I like that quote from Sheik. A childish mind will turn to noble ambition. Young love will become deep affection. The clear water surface reflects, reflects growth. Now listen to the serenade of water to reflect upon yourself. And I love the song too. This is actually one of my favorite songs. I'll be quiet here, guys. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I love it. All right. So this is the serenade of water. All right. I'm gonna be quiet here, guys. Such a pretty beautiful song. Actually, one of my favorite songs in this game, actually. Next to Ball of Royal Fire. Scavin, I'll see you again. No, she, come on. Can we chat a little bit? Don't use the deco nuts on me. Come on. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Um, by the way, uh, we actually want to equip our iron boots. So, yeah, let's actually equip it real quick and then I'll do not want to save. So yeah, the iron boots make you slow, but actually really, really helpful when you're underwater. So that way you won't be able to float. And yes, you can't breathe underwater from that much long uh, if you're wearing the green tunic. Looks like we need another tunic. Yeah, maybe something that'll make us breathe underwater. Alright. Yeah, let's exit out this area before I um, end this episode. It's actually something I really want to get before we end this episode. Alright, um... And probably the next part, I'm going to go back to the Temple of Time and well be Young Link and do a couple of things. Put a couple of heart pieces before we go to the next temple. But before we do, well, actually, no, actually, yeah, let's get this heart piece, why not? But there's, okay, in, in the bottom of this lake, there's actually a heart piece that you can get. And you have plenty of time to breathe, so I'm not too worried about drowning, so yeah. Alright, so just keep walking to the bottom, and you'll get your heart piece. And yeah, I'm going way over time on my camera here. But anyways, we got... Oh, I don't even know what heart piece, but yeah, that's the heart piece in the bottom of the lake. Yeah, I think I'm going to stop it here, guys. So, next time on Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we're actually going to go do a few heart pieces, get a few of them as Young Link. So yeah, I'll meet you guys in the Temple of Time, and yeah. And we'll get a few heart pieces from there. And also, I actually want to relearn the Scarecrow song because I actually might need it for another heart piece that I want to get. So yeah, we'll do that in the next part. So I will see you guys in the in the Temple of Time. So this is Shadow Kirby Seven Seven saying bye.